I mean, it's gonna be hard to mix in for sure. Oh, snap. Hey girl, hey, welcome back you guys. Today I'm gonna be fixing some store-bought slime, which is kind of crazy because I've actually never done this before. I've seen a lot of these videos going around and they look really interesting and I've always wondered, how do they do it? Because store-bought slime is very different from homemade slime and I know this firsthand because I have store-bought slime in stores and they're obviously made differently, like, you know, manufacturers and stuff to be able to sit on a shelf for a long time and everything. So they're different consistencies from homemade slime. So today I decided to buy a few store-bought slimes and give them a little makeover and try to get them the closest to homemade consistency as possible. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with store-bought slime, but we're gonna give them a little makeover and try to get them to feel homemade made and we'll see what we can do with them but before we begin i want to give a huge shout out to audible thank you so much audible for sponsoring this video if you guys have watched my videos over the past years you'll know that i've done so many videos with audible i freaking love audible and if you haven't heard of audible and you've been living under a rock audible is basically digital spoken audiobooks uh you know there's books on there there's news, comedy, drama, all types of categories, thousands and thousands of titles and shows. They even have Audible Originals, which is exclusive to Audible. If you watched my last Audible video, I talked a little bit about Audible Originals and I was really obsessed with a crime show and now I'm also obsessed with a crime show, oh gosh. I've been really into blood territory lately. I just love any type of crime shows. I find them really interesting. I'm the kind that likes to like get ready and the very first thing I like to do is either turn on an audiobook or listen to something going on whether it's a podcast or just anything in general. So Audible is like a must essential for me in the mornings, like getting ready. And of course, as always, I have a code for you guys. So go to audible.com slash Karina Garcia. That is audible.com slash Karina Garcia. Or you can text Karina Garcia to 500 500. That is text Karina Garcia to 500 500. I'll make sure to also leave the links down below at the very top of my description box. So go get Audible and comment down below what are your favorite audiobooks to listen to. All right, without further ado, let's get into some slime makeovers. <laughs> okay, so I have four different slimes right here, all different sizes. So excited in general just to get into these slimes right now. This one's pretty similar to the bucket that we just launched. We did just launch buckets in stores. So go get your celebration slimes if you're in store for whatever reason. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one right here just because it's calling my, it's calling my, Catching, calling my eye, uh, calling my name. There you go. Sometimes I don't know what the heck I'm saying, y'all. Like, oh, oh my god, I just broke the slime. This looks like a really pretty clear slime. Also, if anybody's wondering, like, what happened to my ring? If you ever like don't see my ring on, mind your business. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, there's different reasons why I don't put my rings on sometimes. Let's be real. Like, I've gained weight since my wedding, and sometimes they get a little tight. Sometimes I'm more swollen than usual. And then for slime videos in general, like a lot of times I do like to remove them because it gets really messy and stuff. So if you're ever wondering, like, when they're just like randomly there and then they're back, that's that's what happens. So this slime is called Amazing Slime XL Glitter Palooza, and it's a clear slime, I believe, and this is what it looks like. It feels nice. It has glitter. It has that wet feel to it. A lot of store-bought slimes have that feel. And of course it has that feel like when you stretch it and it stretches to an extent. That happens a lot with store-bought slimes, but I don't hate it. Okay, so first I was thinking of just adding jelly cube, but I think she might need some glue. If I want it to be like super stretchy and be able to poke it really well, I'm gonna need some of that glue. So it's interesting because you don't always know how glue is gonna react to your store-bought slime because it's different components in it. It's like different stuff. It's never gonna be the same as homemade slime, y'all. And if you're wondering why companies don't just like sell homemade slime in stores, it's because you literally can't. Like it would rot on shelf. Think about something that has to sit on shelf and travel to different countries and everything. Like it's- Face different temperatures. Face different temp temperatures every day and stuff. Having homemade slime sit on shelf for so long and everything like that is kind of like impossible. So that is why you don't see homemade slime on shelf. It's not reacting terribly to the glue. It's actually making it much stretchier. I don't even think I need to activate this. I think the glue alone is gonna help it tremendously. So there was no issue at all with adding glue to this. And it made it so much stretchier. I mean, look at this. So much stretchier. As you can see, I can poke it out. So with this slime, I thought it could make a really pretty jelly cube, a pink one. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna cut up some jelly cubes. I'm also gonna add some food coloring to the slime. And I think it's gonna make it that much prettier. These are the same glitters I used too. These little chunky glitters are so famous in the store-bought slimes. <laughs> like they literally are, I use them too. Let's color this baby up. I love this color. 
Like look at that stretch just by adding glue. I feel like store-bought slimes in general, they have their own texture, but I still think they're super fun. But if you really, really want that homemade feel, just add a little bit of glue to it. It makes the biggest difference living. We have some jelly cube. I thought it would look really cute with some jelly cube in there. I'm gonna cut this up. It's so easy. It's just crazy how a sponge could be so easy to cut with a knife. Like you would think that cutting a sponge would be super difficult with a knife. We got our jelly cubes. I'm gonna put them in now, obviously. You know. <laughs> wow, that glue, that clear glue. Look at this. Look how stretchy this is. Look how pretty this is, you guys. And it's not even, it hasn't even absorbed the jelly cubes yet. <laughs> Are you joking? This is so good. The stretch. Let's let this sit just a day or two. This already looks so pretty. When it clears up, it's gonna look amazing. So it's sat a couple of days now. I'm noticing while popping the cubes, it's a little bit harder to squeeze them and I think it's just because it's a different consistency, but you gotta admit, this is gorgeous. I really, really like how this slime came out. I do think it's much stretchier and you could poke it and everything better than you could before. And overall, I think it's just a really pretty slime. All right, next up, we're gonna turn this into a butter slime. I wanted to give you guys variety, different textures and stuff, you know? So we have Crazy Slimy from Crazy Art. Ooey gooey fun. Okay, this is it right here. This is like a, a mini bucket, I would say. Like it's a little smaller than the other one. So this is what we get right here. And oh, I love that. This is what I love about store-bought slime. The gloss, that initial gloss, like when you take it out, girl, undefeated. Right off the bat, it's a great consistency. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I mean, this is the thing. A store-bought slime, like, they could feel really nice. And then when it comes to the stretch, they'll maybe not be, like, the best. I feel like they're still really fun to play with. I love this one because it has a thicker texture. If I want to stretch it, you could still stretch it. You just have to be slower with it. And that's totally normal with store-bought. I just want to see if I could turn this into butter. I'm pretty sure you can because I have my DIY bucket slime, my DIY clay slime, the celebration bucket. It's slime that comes with clay on the side and it mixes well. So I feel like it will work, but the textures are a little bit different. For my celebration one, the slime is not as thick as this because of the outcome mixed with clay. Like I remember when working on the DIY clay slime, we mixed different densities with a clay. The consistency of the slime that we have now that is a little bit runnier than this one worked great with the clay. Uh, we tried it with a thicker base and it was too stiff. Let's see if it reacts well to the clay. So we have soft clay. Also, it might depend on what clay you're using as well. Yeah, this is the, you know, Daiso clay. It's a little more uh, dry, kind of brittle. It kind of just like does that. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like it's not stretchy. It makes one break in at a time. I'm gonna mix it in slowly. I mean, it's gonna be hard to mix in for sure. And that's just one clay. 
Oh snap, this is gonna be really hard to mix in. Homemade slime, you could make the slime as thick as possible and still be able to mix in clay. But with store-bought, you really have to think of the base first. Okay, how crazy is this, you guys? I mean, you saw how it looked coming out of the bucket. It was so good. It's not really mixing. I feel like if I really go in there, I will be able to, but. Oh, you know what? I have some glycerin. Glycerin is used to make very glossy slimes or you're making homemade slime. And sometimes it could underactivate your slime, which is perfect for this. That's about enough because that stuff is powerful. Jesus, this is a lot. Okay, so I actually went ahead and grabbed a different type of clay because I really feel like it might have been the clay. So we have some of this clay right here. This is the stretchier type. I'm gonna add some of that. Let's hope that this helps it. Holy crap, you guys, I don't think this is fixable. The tragedy is that it was great on its own. And when I try to turn it into a butter is when it didn't really work out much. No! You guys, I have tried so much kneading different clays and it's just not taking the clay yeah guys this is not gonna work out since i have the other slime sitting anyway i'm gonna let this sit and see if something happens overnight <laughs> i really doubt it oh my god i feel so bad about ruining the actual slime all right let's see if this one maybe got a little bit better i really doubt it because it was a rock but it did sit for a little bit so maybe it settled I can't even open it oh, there we go. Does look better. It definitely did not fix it, but since it did settle, it did get like a tad bit stretchier. I think it's not, you guys, this is done. Like this is not anywhere near what I thought I could get it to. And again, it's not the slime itself. I think it's just that the clay didn't react well to the store-bought slime. The slime was great before I added the clay, so. My fault. All right, guys, next up, um, I'm a little worried about this one. I wasn't worried too much until I fixed, well, until I tried to add clay to the other one. This one is liquid metal, amazing slime. Uh, so this one is a jiggly texture, very jiggly texture. Fun fact, I also have one of these in one of my collectible slime packs. It's very jiggly as well. Adults actually really like this from what I've seen, which is funny because, I, I mean, I think it's fun and all, but it's not my favorite texture, but it's funny to see uh, different people like like different textures, I don't know, but it's fun. But I'm a thick type of girl. If you try squishing it, it kind of just goes everywhere. I am gonna try to make this a homemade thick slime. Like a regular, clear, thick, stretchy, pokeable slime. This is going to be so messy. My hands are going to get so messy right now. That is why I don't put my rings on for this. Whoa, I'm literally mixing slime on a table. I didn't even think about putting this in a container. I do think it'll absorb it. I just really have to make it all. Ah! Okay, I think it might actually turn into slime. It's definitely activating, but it's crazy how even after adding all that glue, it's still jiggly. I feel like once I knead it in though, like it won't be like crazy jiggly, although it still has that jiggly vibe, you know? It's gonna be a little tricky. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's making it stretchy. Holy crap, I think we just made actual homemade slime with this. Something that jiggly, turning it into a stretchy slime was really hard. I had to add quite a bit of glue, which was actually not too much. Look at this. Oh my God, some of that glitter in there. It's really stretchy now. That would have been actually impossible. And now you can poke it. Like how could we fix this one, but not that one? And of course, all the mixing made it super foggy and cloudy. 
But what I love about this is that it still has that gold tint. And once it sits for a couple days, it's gonna look amazing. After a couple days. Next up, we have Compound Kings, and I'm really excited about this one because this one looks really fun. This one has some pom-poms at the top, and this color, I'm living for this. Gotcha. Is this a jelly, or am I tripping? I don't see any, like, actual uh, instant snow. I'm so confused. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a jelly or not, or if it's just, like, um, how it sat. It looks textured, but the crazy part is, like, I don't know how it's done because when I stretch it out, it doesn't have the, uh, it's the snow. And, like, most store-bought slimes, it has, like, that little, uh, like, bounce back. When you poke it, where it kind of bounces back. So normal in store-bought slimes. Okay, so what I want to do with this is I really like this. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it actually has instant snow. I think it's just the texture of it sitting in a container. It was really cool. I actually really like the color of this and I like it overall. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some jelly, but I'm going to swirl it up and top it off with these. The consistency is thick and I feel like it is pretty stretchy to be a store-bought slime, so I actually really like it and I don't wanna like ruin the texture. So I'm gonna go in with some jelly on the side. So I have some jelly slime right here, which is basically just clear slime with uh, a bit of instant snow. It literally looks like some kind of jelly, like a jam. I'm gonna make this blue. I think blue and purple will go really pretty together. We're gonna add some blue on here. Okay, I'm actually living for this marble effect, so I'm not gonna keep mixing it. Um, I think it's actually gonna look really good if I leave it like this and start putting it into this 32 ounce. So I'm gonna do a 32 ounce instead of the bucket just because I think it would look cooler in here to show all the layers. I'll take both. Let's hope that this swirls pretty well. Um. Okay, I'm gonna actually top this off with a little bit of white thick and glossy slime at the top. And I'm hoping this makes an avalanche. And I think it's gonna look really, really cool. So we'll come back in a couple days. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few of these still because I think they're so cute. I think that looks so good. So let's close this up. Let this sit for a couple days and see what we come out with. Ooh, I'm really excited about this one because I don't know how the jelly mix with the store-bought slime. I mean, obviously, it looks really pretty. You can see that the white actually avalanched and it looks so, so good. This is what I mean by avalanche right here. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my God. Look at that. Thick. You can see that jelly in there. The jelly actually mixed really well with the store -bought. I'm telling y'all, just adding a little bit of homemade slime to your store-bought slime will make the biggest difference. It is a little bit, you know, naturally a little bit thick. Put a little bit more effort into stretching naturally because it is a store-bought, but it's almost stretchier with the jelly.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was actually pleasantly surprised with how much I could do with these store-bought slimes. I mean, there was like one <laughs> that didn't work out, but I think that was my fault because I probably shouldn't have added clay. Comment down below which one was your favorite one. Uh, I really like the pink one, but I also really liked the avalanche one. Also, do not forget to go download Audible. I'll make sure to link it at the top of my description box at audible.com slash Karina Garcia. That is audible.com slash Karina Garcia or text Karina Garcia to 500-500. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic slimy day. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope y'all are washing your hands. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.